How stunning is this packaging? I, I get roped in by this, you guys. I, I can't lie. When I see really, really pretty packaging, it makes me that much more curious as to what the product is like on the inside. For day two of 25 days of eyeshadow, we are actually playing with a brand new collection from Revolution Beauty. This is their collaboration with Marilyn Monroe. I think that this packaging is stunning. I mean, come on, what is more Marilyn than this is just glitz and glam and looks luxurious and feminine and beautiful. And I am totally here for it. Now, full disclaimer, this collection was actually sent to me, but as we know, that is not going to affect my opinion of the products on the inside. In fact, you're gonna get to see them go on my eyes in real time so you can make an opinion for yourself. I don't know what I wanna dive into first. This is the large palette right here. It's got literal what looks like actual crystals, like little diamonds encrusted in it along with like little silver reflex. This is probably the most beautiful packaging on an eyeshadow that I've ever seen. And look at the inside, gore. Gina, look at that mirror. Look at the collection of shades in here. To me, this just screams holiday as well. And then there are these two quads right here as well. I'm living for the pearls. This reminds me of that Shantikai packaging that launched recently. I think it might've been like single shadows, highlighters and blush or something that are like obscene. I think they're anywhere from like 75 to like 125 freaking dollars a piece. I mean, come on. And here we have it on a revolution. Beauty Pro Quad Eyeshadow Palette. Look at the shades inside this one. There is a mirror on the inside as well, but these shades are all beautiful. These are metallic. And then the last quad is very similar to the large palette, but this one has like pink little rhinestones and glitz on it. Absolutely beautiful. And then this is what the metallic shades look like. So both of the quads are primarily metallics. And then in the larger palette, we're gonna feature more of those different dimensions. I have no idea what look I wanna create. I'm literally gonna open all of them and just sit them right down in front of me. Let me zoom you guys in so we can get some shadow on my lids. So I think I'm actually gonna start off with this shade right here in the crease, Someone to Love. I love the mirror inside this palette. Not a lot of kick up, which is nice. I'm gonna start with a very light hand and just start working that right into the crease. Now, if you missed yesterday's kickoff to this series, I decided that as I'm doing my shadow, I kind of want to do like story time or just kind of like chit chatty stuff while I'm doing my eyeshadow and trying to stay on track while telling you what shades I'm using, which could pose to be a tad difficult, but I think we can pull it off. Today's story time. We're gonna talk about the first time that my dumb ass decided to get drunk. Um, I was in high school, very stupid of me. It was summer break, a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine at the time, her parents were out of town, which for her was a very rare occurrence. Her parents like were never gone. So it was like, hell yeah, party time. Now I had zero experience with alcohol really at this point. I may have tried a few drinks of something here and there, but I never actually full on drank to become intoxicated, so to speak. So I thought it would be a good idea to take one of those giant gas station mugs, like the big gulp, like one of those 64 ounce mother effers and fill that bitch with orange juice and cheap ass Phillips vodka. Ugh, oh my God, to this day, I'm not even kidding you. It's been how many years? I'm still going in with the same shade right away. I'm just slowly building this up. Um, it's been how many years and the thought of a screwdriver still disgusts me. Like I can't, I think of that drink. I'm like, who is the absolute devil who developed screwdrivers? Now mimosas are one thing, I can handle that. But the combination of vodka and like the most acidic juice on the planet, that's work of the devil. I don't care what anyone says. Absolutely vile. So anyways, I decided that this was a good idea. Now I didn't know the definition of pacing oneself. So I, I didn't pace myself at all. And I just went to town and just started tossing it back. And I'm sitting there thinking like, why, why am I not feeling this. Is this a joke? Everyone around me is looking like they're having a great time. I don't feel 
anything. All right, now before I continue, let's dip into the next shade. I think I'm gonna veer off the beaten path, actually. I know I kind of pointed to these, but I think I wanna use this deeper brown shade right here. This is the shade No Angel. I'm gonna stick with the same brush, which is my Alter Ego number six brush, if I haven't said that already. Anyways, so I did not understand what pacing yourself was. So again, I went to town, didn't understand why I couldn't feel it, and I'm like, screw this. Now I was sitting, don't ask me how I remember this, I have like the most weird, messed up memory ever of everything. Like I just have like the most crazy, insane memory with things. Anyways, I got sick of it. I was like, this is freaking boring. So I got up from the kitchen table and I decided that I would go downstairs. So I heard music. I'm like, I'm going to go dance and go talk to people. So I go downstairs and some of my friends were in the bathroom. Well, you know what it is when girls drink, we all heard like a flock of sheep. If one of them goes to the bathroom, we all go to the bathroom. I was sitting there chatting with my friends and all of a sudden that ridiculous amount of vodka and disgusting orange juice hit me. So I'm standing there and the room is just starting to spin and I'm like, okay, cool. This is what being extremely intoxicated is like. So I'm sitting there and I'm like asking my friend. Now, mind you, I have panic and anxiety disorder. Not a good idea. I don't recommend this. So I'm asking my friend, I'm like, is this normal? Like, am I supposed to feel this way? And she's like, oh yeah, you know, it's just, it's hitting you all at once. You'll be fine. Just make sure you drink water throughout the night. You'll be good. Just don't drink anymore. Wait a little bit. So I go out in the living room and as with anything that spins, even if you have the spins, it can start to make your stomach turn just a little bit. My stomach starts turning. Now let me add in here a very vital detail to this story, okay? I didn't eat much that day. I think all I ate was ice cream and garlic bread. Now you can imagine how all of this is just mixing up on the inside. Probably not too good. I mean, who does that? Think about yourself now as like a full grown adult. Would you ever decide to go to a party and drink orange juice and shitty cheap ass vodka when you've only eaten garlic bread and ice cream. Honestly, the worst freaking combination of all time. Now my friend's bedroom, the friend that owned the house, was downstairs in the basement where I was. I started to not feel good. I'm like, screw this, I'm skipping Dodge. I'm going in the bedroom to like lay down for a while. Now her boyfriend at the time was sitting in this room all alone. I'm like, what the hell are you doing in here? Well, apparently he wasn't really a big drinker. Thank God for that. Now pause in the story quick. Let's move on to the next shadow. So now that I've decided to take this on a totally different route than I intended to, I think I wanna actually put this shade right here. Which one do I want? Do I want this one or this one? Let's do this one right here. This one is called, what the hell is this? pillowcase white. I'm not totally familiar with Marilyn Monroe. I have no freaking idea what pillowcase white is. If someone can inform me that in the comments, but that's the shade I'm going to put right here in the center of the lid and marry into that deeper shade that I just laid down on the outer corner. Anyways, so apparently he doesn't drink and he was just like, whatever, he's gonna hang out in this room. I think he was like studying or something. I don't freaking remember. I told him, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I feel hot and sweaty. The room is spinning. I feel sick to my stomach. Are there Tums? Is there something in here? Like I, I need help. He took one look at me and was like, holy shit, you are as white as a ghost, sit down just sit here. He brings over a fan. He puts it directly in front of my face and brings me a trash can. So I'm sitting here like, holy shit, I'm about to puke, aren't I? I am going to get sick from this disgusting alcohol I just drank. And he hands me Tums and he hands me water. He goes, now do not chug this water. I'm gonna need you to sip it slowly. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade right here, Daydream, and I'm gonna use that on the rest of the lid. I chew up the Tums, and I start sipping the water slowly. Well, my stomach started to churn even more, and at that point, I knew it was game over. I was about to blow chunks. So here I am in this bedroom with my friend's boyfriend, this poor guy who just was just trying to escape the madness himself, and is now taking care of me and has been deemed my caretaker for the rest of the night. So I'm puking. Now, outside the door, it is loud as shit. There was probably about 
50 to 80 people in this house. And I could hear people saying, where's Crystal? Where's Crystal? And I'm like, oh my God, they're about to open this door. Everyone's gonna see me with my head. I'm just like dripping sweat, puking into this bucket. And sure enough, the door swings open. Now I'm sitting there puking. And at the same time, I honestly really didn't give a shit because I felt so incredibly sick. I was just like, whatever. At this point, I was just focused on the fact that I was blowing chunks and I was puking up everything that was in my stomach from the day. Now remember what I told y'all that I ate that day. Ice cream and garlic bread. Garlic bread is very potent. As we know, you can only imagine what that room smelled like. My friend's room was not very big. I'm gonna dip back into the shade right here, someone to love and drag that on the lower lash line. This is so weird to be giving you guys a review and telling the story at the same time. Anyways, so the door whips open and it's just absolutely vile, okay? I hear people, no joke, literally starting to gag because it was just that repulsive, okay? So people are gagging and I'm pretty sure people are like running to the bathroom. I can hear people retching and I was still kind of messed up at this point. Obviously I had thrown up most of what was in my system, but I, I still could kind of, I, I started to really come to and realize what was going on. In my head, I'm like, holy shit, this is actually terrifying, but also kind of funny because I just made a good portion of the people at this party, including some of my friends, sick with the fact that I was throwing up and the awful smell of regurgitated garlic bread <laughs> that was coming into the garbage can out of my mouth hole. And that night I swore to myself, I am like, I am never going to drink ever again. And to be honest with you, obviously that never happened. Now, I decided to call up one of my friends that just, she didn't drink at all. She wasn't at the party. I called her up and I actually asked her to come pick me up because I wanted to leave. I didn't feel good. And so she comes to pick me up. And as I'm standing at the top of the stairs, and this is really messed up, actually, I will never forget this. There was this guy, there was a bunch of people standing at the base of the stairs. But as I got upstairs to go out the front door, because she was going to take me on a little ride to get me some cool air, whatever, drive me around. There was a dude dude standing up there and I had never seen him before. I know he didn't go to my school, whatever. And he saw me and I was like, yeah, I might go home. I don't know. I don't feel good, whatever. You know, I'm talking to my other friends. I'm like, I might leave. And he pops up and he goes, well, I can give you a ride home. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is suspect. Like, I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. Obviously you overheard me just saying how extremely intoxicated I was. Creepy. I literally looked at him and I was like, I'm good, thanks. And luckily he wasn't like pressuring or anything like that. He just walked away. Now, is there a chance that he could have been a nice person and just genuinely wanted to take me home? Very slim chance, but we all know where that road goes and that's scary to think about. So I am thankful that I was enough in my right mind and smart enough and had come to enough to handle this situation properly considering how fairly young I was. Never saw that kid again. Never saw him at another party ever again, but that is the story of the first time that I got insanely drunk. <laughs> now back to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna dip into this quad right here, the one with the pearls on it, and to highlight the inner corners, I'm gonna dip into this gorgeous shade right here. These shadows in the quads don't have any shade names at all, not even on the back or anything, so they're just really pretty shadows, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the inner corner. Ooh, that is a stunning inner corner highlight. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. In fact, as you can tell, I am actually really impressed with these shadows. The shadows in here blended beautifully and I really like the shades. The metallics are just like super like shiny. They almost look like nylon, do you know what I'm saying? Like they just, they're absolutely beautiful and they blend stunningly. I almost want to add like, hmm, something from this palette. I think I want to take this shade right here. I might actually layer this on top of that shade right there for some brightness. Like, look at that. <gasps> Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna like tap that on there because these look like they also have like a little bit of like reflect to them like little micro reflex not just metallic uh yeah look at that that is stunning i have to make sure i kind of blend everything in don't be afraid to use your fingers but 
holy smokes. Look at the dimension. These are beautiful. Oh my goodness. I think I almost want to take this shade, and this is from that pink sparkly palette. I don't know what the name is. I don't have the unit curtains for this in front of me, so I apologize. Um, but I think I want to take, was it this shade I just said? Yeah, this one right here. I think I want to like layer that over my inner lid here. Look at how stunning. Yes. Wow. That just like elevated this. These quads are something else. I honestly wasn't expecting this. I'm going to be totally honest. These looked pretty, but I didn't think that they would turn out quite like this. There was also in this collection, there is an eyeliner and a mascara as well. This is the Volume Mascara and Felt Tip Eyeliner Set. Look at the packaging of this mascara. That is absolutely wild. And the eyeliner pen just looks like this. Now, typically I don't mess with eyeliner a whole lot, especially liquid liners. They're just typically not my favorite. Here's what the felt tip looks like. And it's mostly because I have hooded eyes. For the life of me, I just cannot master a wing liner. It is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. I'm just gonna kind of stick very close to my lash line. This is very black actually. I think I actually like the shorter felt tip on this. It gives you a very precise application. As I'm doing this now, I do wanna mention, I do notice some fallout. That's probably from those foiled shades I just put on. I didn't notice it until I got like really close and doing my liner. I don't know what the dry down is though, because I don't like vinyl -y looking liners. Let me do a swatch of this for you. But like, look at that. That is very rich black. Let's go ahead and curl the lashes and we'll test out this mascara. Typically I like to use mascara primers these days. This time I'm not going to because I just really wanna know how the formula works. This is very interesting looking. Hope you guys can see that, but it looks like it's got like all these different like scallops in it. It's definitely a silicone wand. Wow, I can actually feel it like super gripping each one of my lashes which is giving really nice separation. However, the formula feels a little bit on the thin side. I actually like a mascara formula that's almost like a little bit like on the dry side. Do you guys know what I'm saying? And it's like has a little bit of a thicker texture to it because I really wanna be able to build it up fast. I don't wanna sit here like having to put on like a gazillion coats of mascara. Update on the liner, it does not dry down matte. It does have a little bit of a shine to it. Not totally like that super shiny vinyl look, but it's more of like a satin finish for sure. All right, you guys, so here is the finished eyeshadow look with mascara, with the liner. I have to say what really blew me away are these two quads right here. These are absolutely stunning. I keep looking at myself in the mirror because of the shine. These perform like high-end shadows. These are stunning. Typically, I wouldn't say, hey, throw something that's all metallic in your collection, but these, I think, definitely could be very useful. The shades are neutral enough, but they can really make any eye look pop. And that's what I really like about this formulation. Super beautiful packaging as well. I think the large palette is really nice. Is it anything that just totally blew me away? No, but the packaging is fun. And especially if you're a fan of Marilyn Monroe, I would definitely say pick it up. I mean, it is a very beautiful collection of shades. I love the pressed glitters in here. We didn't try those today. I think that these shadows are super gorgeous. And from what I used, everything blended out beautifully. I don't have any complaints about any of the shadows. You guys know the drill. Comment down below if there is a specific palette that you want to see. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this story time format of me kind of telling you stories as I put on my shadow. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like to discuss or like to hear me talk about. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, you can give a thumbs down, but I won't see that because YouTube got rid of the thumbs down counter. So do what you will, but I'm only gonna see the positive. If this is your first time to this channel, please do me a solid and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the 25 days of eyeshadow and story time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.